Hey, this is Neil. I'm back with another mask review. If you've never seen any of my mask reviews before, all I do are Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 3, the 1990 film mask reviews. My favorite movie, I love everything about it. The truck, the music, the chainsaws, and the masks. This is my newest one. This is by Masks by Vin. Vin's in Australia, but don't let that kind of scare you away from buying it. Typically, you know, you buy stuff overseas, you might get it, you might not. Uh, but Vin's a stand-up guy. He came through, he actually made the mask from the time I ordered it, and he took pictures the whole way through to the time he shipped it. It only took maybe five days from pouring, paint, stitch, putting it in a box, and uh, getting it to me. Now, it took a week and a half to two weeks to get to me, but that's just the mail. That's just the way it goes. Um, it's a good quality mask. I, I like the mask. It's not, you know, it's not a, a dead-on replica of what's in the film. But hey, it's it's Vin's artistic uh, expression of what he sees, and and I appreciate that. You know, I'm not I'm not dogging on him because it's not down to to every little writ and wrinkle and stitch. You know, it, that's not what this is about. This is a good quality mask. Uh, start off. The uh, the ties are, are good quality. They're not gonna they're probably not gonna rip unless you get really crazy with them. He's got both sets up and bottom just like the film. Get it off of here. It's a medium to thick pull. Not too thin, not too thick. The the stitching that he did in here is um, thread, and it looks like it's most of them. He might even double stitch to kind of thicken it up, make it look thicker. Now on the inside, it's it's smooth. It's not anything that's going to rub and irritate your skin. The uh, the inside is painted to look like it's freshly pulled off of a victim. You know, red, bubbly, blotchy, bloody mess. Uh, back to the stitching on the big stitches. He actually sculpted those in. That's a plus. I always like that. That there's not any twine or. Um, lace or leather coming through irritating your skin if you wear it. It, it, it is a good wear. This is was uh, sculpted on a male sculpt instead of a foam head which is smaller than your normal guy. So this mask fits good. It's going to probably fit most everyone um, up to you know a seven foot tall dude but you get much more than that and no mask is going to fit you. Uh, like I said, the stitching, I like how he did on the cuts where it looks like the flesh is tied together. It's really thick and deep. So from a distance, you know, you really know what's going on with this mask. The uh, paint job, outstanding. I love this paint job. He did a lot of techniques. You can tell that he airbrushed. There is some brush, like a paintbrush techniques. There's even some sponging I think he did. Outstanding job. Places like here, I don't know if you can see that if it's picking it up, but it's like a gloss. And then right next to it is a flat. Same here in that bloody fresh spot. Looks a little fresh and wet. <clears throat> up here, a nice dry, dull, flat. Very cool. <clears throat> Overall, like I said, the sculpt is good. Paint job's good. Good quality. And uh, you're not going to get beat up on the price. The, some, don't let it scare you. The website is Australia prices, so when it converts to U.S., it's down. It's down to normal. When I first saw the price of it, I was like, "Whoa, that's a price of a full bust." But uh, don't let the price scare you. It's worth it. It's worth every penny. I will put all of his information at the end of this video if you'd like to get one, uh, buy one from him. Uh, like I said, you're not going to go wrong. It's a good quality mask. I'm impressed. There's that side. The rose, actually the story with the rose is he asked me, do you want the rose painted? He, from what I understand, he hadn't painted on any of his masks that he made prior. And I said, hell yes, I'm a stickler for the rose. I like it to be pretty accurate in that detail. It's, that's what sets it apart from any other TCM mask at all. You know, the, from the other films, is part three. He had a rose tattooed on his on his right beside his right eye. So he added that in for me. I don't know if it's 
from here going forward if he's going to do that with all of them or if it was an option or what exactly but uh from what I understand, that was the first rose that he painted on, and he did an outstanding job. It's a good likeness to the film. He spent a lot of time on the, you know, like I said, hand stitching. He actually, when he sculpted it in, he planned for those stitches where to be, so the thread sits in there perfect. Very cool effect. Overall, very happy. Way to go, Vin. And uh, appreciate you guys watching. Have a good one.